Hey, what's shaking, y'all? I am Kane. Thank you so much for being here. For those of you guys who are new on the channel, I talk hip hop and fashion. Make sure you subscribe to the channel when you hit that bell so you always stay notified with me. Hip hop is 50 years old, man. That's such a beautiful thing right there. So I'm gonna be checking out this video by Billboard explaining the origins of hip hop. Without further ado, let's run it. Did you know 2023 marks the 50th anniversary of hip hop? The genre has lived through many different iterations, from acts like Grandmaster Flash to LL Cool J to Tupac and Drake. It has become the number one genre in the world. With almost you put Tupac and Drake in the, on the Billboard 200 and over <laughs> one hit from the Oh man, that shit. So how did hip hop? I was middle school. Who are the key players in creating and evolving the genre? And what is the future of hip hop? This is Billboard Explains, the origins of hip hop. Come on, man. Although the first official recording of hip hop music wasn't until 1979, the beginning of the genre can be traced back to the streets of New York. In the 1970s, New York block parties became increasingly popular. DJs started creating extended breaks in popular music tracks using two turntables and a mixer. The first start to this movement was DJ Cool Herd. Mm, he established the genre on August 11, 1973 at his sister's graduation party in the Bronx. DJ Cool Herc was known for mixing older songs with popular dance tracks to create a different sound. He would add spoken word and objections over the records he made, wow. which inspired rap as we know it today. Other major players during this inception period of hip hop were Grand Wizard Theodore, Africa Bambata, uh -oh. and Grandmaster Flash. All the big dogs back. I wonder if in the Big Apple there's like a museum somewhere that you can go to, right? That's like showcases like the origins of hip hop as well. I feel like I've always felt like hip hop is, even though we're the biggest genre and there's many different forms of rapping, um, we still don't have that, like we don't even, we, we don't even have a hip hop commission. We have a, we, everybody gets inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's, a, that's another topic for another day, man, but wow. The day with DJs, Cool Herc, DJ Hollywood, all of them. During their DJ sets, they would extend beat breaks of popular tracks in order to create improv dance moments. These dance moments would later turn into break dancing competitions. Wow. The genre that's one of the elements. Four major pillars, graffiti, DJing and scratching, break dancing and emceeing and rapping and i remember rakim having a song writing my name and graffiti on the wall that's part of what we do even in the expression of trying to get it out you still hip-hop on a piece of paper you're still hip-hop when you're moving down a block if you're walking with your friends you still hip hop. i like that yourself and your beat you hip-hop just and walking like, down right, i like I'm that take it up a level i'm gonna get some equipment and now i'm just gonna take these records and start mixing them and scratching facts, them facts, facts. those pillars are more than just the things that make up this billion dollar industry now those pillars are things that make up our culture mm. in the 1980s we saw a wave of old school hip-hop new school hip-hop and golden age hip-hop come to fruition the old school hip-hop scene was pioneered by artists like grandmaster flash and the furious five ll cool j and run dmc it's tricky hey. golden age of hip -hop, i like Public that enemy salt and pepper and boogie down productions were major voices in this era rappers from the 80s they were the ones that really lifted the culture to say, hey, we could take this mainstream. In 1989, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince won the first Grammy honoring hip hop music for their track, wow. Parents Just Don't Understand, in the best rap performance category. By the 1990s, we started to see the growth of gangster rap, with artists like Tupac representing the West Coast and the notorious B.I.G. repping the East. The hip hop music coming out of the 90s helped bring to light dance. For show in every generation, there was always, you know, the older cats who were looking down like, yeah, what the fuck are they doing, right? But they had to pay homage because of the elevation. Today, I feel like there's no elevation in hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's, I mean, the ones who really can do it, they don't get that recognition. I feel like hip-hop has always been the only genre that rewards people for being stupid, right? Like... Idiots can disrespect legendary cats and then no one says anything because of the fear of looking old, right? It's all, you know, it's all opinions. But then in like rock and roll, for example, if somebody ever disrespected a, a rock and roll legend, the consequences are different. But in hip hop, we allow dumb ass shit like that, man. So that's what I feel. It's trends such as MC Hammer's Hammer Time from his track, You Can't Touch This. <laughs> 
of time. And brought to light the injustices in America with tracks like N.W.A.'s F the Police from their album Straight Outta Compton. The 2000s saw hip-hop artists move into entrepreneurial spaces as they were not only topping the charts, but also building their own brands like Jay-Z's Rockaware and Diddy's Sean John. 2010 saw the digital era in full swing with artists like Post Malone. When I started balling, I was young. My ears hurt, man. The rapper. Stop. ASAP Rocky. Rap Simmons, Rick Owens, usually what I'm dressed. I like ASAP. Only thing I did wrong was make it possible. And Mac Miller finding success online. Streaming culture just made everything super accessible before you had to really hunt or stay up and listen to underground hip-hop radio shows to get that exclusive. As hip-hop enters its 50th year, we're seeing a rise of new artists in the space, such as Roddy Rich, Ice Spice, and Lil Baby. The origins really drive home the fact that this is a culture that was made by young kids from the street. As the genre continues, and was to fucked up by young kids. Can't wait to see what the genre. Don't forget that part. It's not just hating on the young people. Like, listen, any black or Hispanic, anybody, man, that's able to take care of their family, regardless of if they whack or not. Like, I salute that, man. Like, your family, you, like, you're better off than what you were before. So I salute that. But, like, if a rapper can't rap. Are you a rapper? Like, why do we reward stupid shit? Like, why can't that be looked at? You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. If you go to a doctor because your leg is broke, and then you find out that the person you went to is not really a doctor, but they call themselves that, like, wouldn't you feel like, what, what the fuck is going on? And I apply that same kind of thinking when it comes to hip hop, man. Like I said, you can take care of your family, salute, but you still fucking trash. I'm sorry. Like I, I, I don't know what else. I'm sorry. Like that's never gonna be music to me. I'm sorry. But um, get in the comment section. Like the video. Let me know what you feel about the video. Follow me on Instagram at I'm Hurricane Isaac 95. I'm gone. Peace.